Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking today's Dreaded D. Rose report. You know, in about uh, two weeks or so, we're going to have a different atmosphere around here. I won't be here. I'll be on YouTube, but I won't be here because we're going to be closing up the uh, video store. It's, it's seen its days. It's days is gone. Not me, but the store. We're going to be taking it to the uh, space, the internet, internet only. Tell you more about it later. Hey, uh, as would be expected, WWE's creative is having a hard time coming up with a finisher for Ryback versus Punk match at the Hell in a Cell. I came up with a, I thought a great one, but that was on yesterday. You click over to yesterday, you should find out what it is. Anyway, they uh, don't want to have Ryback lose because, uh, you know, of course he's on a straight roll now. Uh, but also don't want to switch the WWE title before Royal Rumble in January. They also don't want to end the uh, pay-per-view with a screw job. Obviously, can't do a deep two finish inside the cell. Uh, officials also don't want to end the show with uh, Big Show versus Sheamus. So it appears they're going to be, you know, end up having to do something that they do not want to do. Now they don't have to. Now I've never seen a DQ in a in the cell, but I've. I would like to see, they had the ring collapse. How about have, uh, just have them tear the cell up and just in, you know, just not a draw, but a, I don't like the word draw on any match, but just have it just in where, uh, I don't even, uh, just, uh, Jim Ross knocks everybody out or something. I don't care. Hey, anyway, uh, there's been a lot of uh, online speculation that Brock Lesnar may be interfering to cost Ryback the match. Uh, with the idea of Ryback taking on Lesnar at WrestleMania 29, this is going to create a number of issues, including messing up plans for Triple H's revenge on Lesnar. Uh, and uh, extra costs of using Lesnar on another pay-per-view above uh, what he's contracted for. So, <clears throat> what would you rather do? See Ryback take on Lesnar or uh, Triple H? Uh. The RX Muscle website We'll be publishing an article detailing uh, Stephanie uh, McMahon's training in the next few weeks. Uh, Chris uh, Z Photography uh, released a following uh, uh, preview of a photo of Stephanie working out, which you can see online. And she she does just now she may be working out just to keep herself in good shape, or maybe something's coming up. Maybe she's going to be interfering in a match. Could have uh, Lesnar come in and inter uh, interfere in Ryback's match, and then have Undertaker come in and save Ryback from Lesnar. But WWE normally wants to advertise if Lesnar or Triple H is going to be on a pay per view, they want extra pay per view buy, so they're going to let you know uh, ahead whether Lesnar or, or uh, uh, well, Triple H or. Uh, Undertaker, one or the other is going to be making a surprise appearance. Because that wouldn't make the uh, pay-per-view buy rates go up if nobody knew they were showing up and they just showed up. So I think uh, uh, we'll see. As known before, WWE officials are uh, talking about having Undertaker just work the Royal Rumble event as a surprise entrance if he doesn't want to come back for a full, a full WrestleMania storyline and match. Uh, the idea would be uh, that Taker doesn't have to uh, have a huge match at WrestleMania, and they still could use him you know, at a Royal Rumble to maybe create some buzz from that. I can't see that, but hey, Ryback is featured on the promotional poster of WWE's TLC pay-per-view, so he's going to be in some uh, ladders, tables, and chairs, and oh my, matches. Uh, I hope he stays healthy. Oh, they've got a lot of time invested in him. Hey, WWE held their second show in Cairo, uh, Egypt, Friday. NXT champion Seth Rollins uh, teamed up with uh, R-Truth for the first time. Defeat, uh, they defeated Ginger Mahal and Dolph Ziggler. The main event saw Sheamus defeat Big Show in a last man standing match. In the main event, Sheamus defeated uh, Big Show. Uh, well, uh, let's see. Well, anyway, last, last man standing match. I missed the line here. And there's also a three-way action between uh, Del Rio, Barrett, and Ryder. Del Rio won that match to earn the title shot against Sheamus at tonight's event in Egypt. 
Now that uh, Ryback versus Punk is set for Hell in a Cell main event, WWE officials spent uh, the past week coming up with uh, creative ideas. What are we going to do with John Cena at Hell in a Cell? Anything? He's expected to have some sort of a role in the main event. I say it's special guest referee, enforcer, whatever. Next uh, extreme rising show from Saint Shane Douglas and the crew is going to be taking place November 17th at the Golden Dome in uh, Monica, uh, Pennsylvania. Names announced for the show is the usual suspects. Matt Hardy, Sabu, Sandman, Saturn, uh, New Jack, Homicide, Crowbar, FBI, Stevie Richards, Balls Mahoney, Blue Meanie, C.W. Anderson, uh, Luke Hawks, uh, Papadon, uh, Blackout, and Reby Sky. WWE's champion CM Punk is going back and forth uh, with fans on his Twitter about religion uh, where he says, uh, oh, stop being dogmatic uh, atheists. Uh, it's overdone and annoying. Then Punk says, stop believing in a man in the sky. It's illogical. Hmm. Damn you, Punk. Damn you. All right. We noted before Alberto is going to be doing a meet and greet with, uh, on October 26th at a NXT live event down in um, West Palm Beach uh, Armory, West Palm Beach, Florida. Rodriguez, he revealed on Twitter that him and Del Rio will be wrestling Cassius Ono. I don't know if it's both of them, or uh, I don't know. Uh, World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus M. Natalia is going to be signing copies of the WWE Encyclopedia December 1st at the Richmond Mall, Barnes & Noble, Columbia, North Carolina. Signing begins at 3 o'clock. Brian and Ryder is going to be featured today on the episode of WWE Saturday Morning Slam. Possibly uh, they may uh, finally air the Bryant and Kid match that was described as mostly as a kid-friendly match. And in, uh, in, uh, I guess there's a lot of comedy in it. JBL announced on Facebook he's going to be returning to SmackDown commentary next Friday night on... Uh, and he's all right. He's... He <laughs> He's a little belligerent, though. Uh, anyway, uh, when they taped Tuesday from Providence, Rhode Island, and speaking of JBL, the commentary with Josh Matthews, WWE officials, are said to be pleased with the duo. Uh, Zack Ryder, by the way, has been announced for uh, NXT live events at November uh, 17th at, uh, in uh, Oklahoma, Florida. The show starts at 6 o'clock. Uh, one half of the WWE team, uh, Bryant, Daniel Bryant recently spoke with uh, NewJersey.com to promote the weekend's live events. Uh, he says his new partner with Kane said, This has been the most fun I've had in a tag team wrestling match, you know, uh, team up in a long time. People like the fact that our characters don't get along. And uh, he goes on with that. But anyway, Natalia is the superstar spotlight on WWE's website today. And WWE's new DVD Blu-ray set on Brock Lesnar is now available in Canada. And don't be uh, released here until the United States for another week. I just got done with CM Punk's uh, DVD. It was good. Real good. I recommend it. Stephanie uh, McMahon, Layla, David Otunga, Santino Morella hosts the anti-bullying uh, rally on Friday in Hartford, Connecticut, and the visit was a part of a month-long celebration of Anti-Bullying Month, which uh, runs from uh, October. Stephanie told the kids, it's something that we need to put an end to. Uh, we're here to give you the tools you need to stand up against bullying. Give them a baseball bat. Hey, happy birthday to Four-time WWF uh, Intercontinental Champion Scott Hall, 54 years old. One-time WCW Cruiserweight Champion Lenny Lane, uh, 42. Former WWE United States and WCW Television Champion Fit Finley, 54. Canadian legend Emile Dupree, 76. And uh, six-time IWGP Junior Weight uh, Heavyweight Champion uh, Tiger Mask, the number four, 42. And birthdays uh, was the UK legend Kendo Nasaki Thornley, 66. His first name is Peter, believe it or not. And one time AAA uh, champion uh, Mari Apache, 33. And current Shimmer champion Sweet Sarah Knight, 41. And uh, by the way, just either, either today, yesterday, or one of those last two or three days we lost uh, 
one of the Road Warriors, about I think nine years ago, something like that. I just happened to see that, and uh, I forgot to mention it, but uh, Hawk. Hey, let me know what you think uh, is going to happen at the pay-per-view uh, whenever you get it all hashed out, because WWE Creative, I think, needs some help. They don't know what to do with Ryback, Cena, Punk, any of them. Maybe they'll hire us, us huh? We'll, we'll go there and get them straightened out. Hey, thanks for clicking. I got to go.